Looking eastward along Highway 48, it's Sunday, July 28th, 2013, and this is Merrifield, Saskatchewan. Manitoba is about four miles to the east of us, the border that is. Merrifield is all about champions and all about railways. CPR and the Canadian Northern both built through here. The Canadian Pacific's railway line crossed right down there, about a quarter of a mile. It was torn out in 1961, right, right where the rise is there, I think. The campground. And heading farther into town, Little Park. This is your main street, looking north towards Highway 48. And central to every prairie town is the Cenotaph. I'm concluding that both Canadian Northern and Canadian Pacific built through here in 1907. Canadian Pacific built the standard Western Line station. Holy, I hope that was a rehearsal or a renovation mile 27.8 from Reston on the Reston sub, Reston to Reston, Manitoba to Woolsey, Saskatchewan. In 1909 it was retired and demolished in 1961 when the line was abandoned. That was the western side of Main Street and this is the eastern side from the corner of Maine and Assiniboia looking Sort of eastward on a Cinnaboy. Don't know what this was built as. Lots of empty spaces on Main Street. Fires and demolition. CNR's Crossing was just down there. The old Arlington Hotel used to have another story on the top and north across is Cinnaboya Street there's a little picnic shelter and the world's largest wooden dragonfly by far little park oh we just missed it probably the senior center there false front building And there he goes. Heading to the theater, maybe. The first elevator in Merrifield, that one built by George McCullough and Sons before 1911, was built so well that it was rebuilt in 1951 and moved to the CNR trackage when the CP closed in 1961. It burned in December 79. And from a vacant lot on Main, looking at the Arlington, which burned in 1945 and it's rebuilt in its present form the next year. Now it says 1906 but photographic evidence indicates that there was an earlier building here that was called the Arlington and this one was likely constructed between 1909 and 1912. Settlers began arriving in this area after the CPR built its main line westward about 15 miles north of here in 1882. The rural post office of Merrifield was opened by William Parlett on April 1st in 1896 in his farmhouse parlor as a service to his fellow settlers. Edward Anderson opened the one here in town on June 15th, 1907, the fire department. And looking southward to the right of way of Canadian National over there. And lots of sidings on the Canadian National because this is an important junction, the Lampman Junction. This sent the, what the Canadian Northern called its literary line down to Estevan in 1909. With station names such as Ryerson and Wordsworth, Browning, Service. It's now an important oil tanker line. Looking north up Grid Road 600 and Railway Avenue. There's the curling rink and the arena over there. Now initially the Canadian Northern didn't build a station in Maryville. 
their right of way was so close to that of the CPR that until it was demolished in 1961, Canadian Northern and, the, and then Canadian National just shared the CP station. After 1961, though, a portable station was apparently brought in from Hallsboro, Manitoba and set up approximately where that shed is down there at mile 75.2 from Brandon on CN called its Cromer Sun. It was sold off in 1984. And there's the co-op and looking back up Main Street. Mary's Field is laid out perpendicular to the Canadian Northern. As you can see from Google Earth. And the tank cars on the rail line down there reflect the importance of the Bakken oil play to this neighborhood. And an antique dealership here. Antique building that is. Oh my goodness! Such a racket. And there he goes. Looks like a 1952 international truck down there. The village office. Maryfield was incorporated on August 21st, 1907 and remains so. It's also the headquarters of the RM of Maryfield. As a K-12 school. and birdhouses, and even a little church for the birds, and churches for the people too. Don't see an old field stone from that late date too often. Beautiful. And uh, Associated Gospel Church. Thanks largely to the Bakken oil play, Maryfield's population has risen to 365 in 2011, peaked at 500 in 1960. The original settlers on this undifferentiated glacial moraine were largely Brits from Ontario and Britain itself. And later from the United States. On the Canadian Northern's main line between Brandon, Manitoba and Regina, Maryfield, Saskatchewan.